So you expect those right, Sentinel's on defense, loud on attack. One away. Push up towards B, they're going to get 10s off of the site right away. It's not only Sheriff's, but also a lot of ghosts now. Uh -oh. Basically, it's going to become a brawl. Oh, he stays. Fundamentals and trades, staying over. Oh, Damn, bro. <laughs> All four tanked the flash. All four of them tanked the flash. That was insane. All four. Yeah, man, they're getting annihilated in the pistols. Is it 4 1 in the pistols? Holy crap, if tens felt like he was online in the other games, this one just got turned Oh online. my. How does he find these timings? Look at all four of them. Oh, so blind for so long. Coming through this time, getting a perfect timing for this flash to blind everybody down on Lounge side and get a three piece of his own. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with right now on this map. Oh. It's loud trying to change the pace. Aggressive now towards the yeah. east side. Saucy Gun. Balls. Gun there. A quick pipe shot. You see both of the walls over towards B quickly going up. They're going to hit towards A. So they try to draw attention. Oh. And QCK is going to pick another one up. A second answer is back. Yeah, but then we Gunner, have that's the gun that dropped. That would look good for an answer back on this. Second falls. So the outlaw will not be able to get picked up Fight yet planted. to allow these pawn shots just to happen. You definitely do see Lao here. One Jump shot out of here it. with the outlaw. Or also just spamming with these rifles. The submachine guns. The okay, I'm Molly. Spectre to get the kill. But after that first initial push coming out from John Cutie, Lao seems to be a, in a very good position to hold this pulse plant. Slow push in, back control the site. They just trade whatever they're defending right now. So Loud can fire all the way in. Shot. Okay, That's a nice shot. John Cutie pushing four to two versus one. It's up to Tweez alone once again. And now Wall's going to be an annoyed to deal with. He gets the first kill. Oh, oh, nicely done. 12 HP on that as well. 12 HP. And they get a gun on top of that one as well. Nicely done from Loud. To feel good for them to find ground right now. Yeah, going to give them a lot of belief. 5 -0 before Loud answered back. Not this time. We're going to see him a little bit more hungry here as we get into round three after this replay. Loud feeling good after the second round by to win after losing pistol. Still smiles, still vibing. Can never count loud out. Yeah, and they get a nice Cascade buy on this one. Forward. Still working this wall on to B, but now they have Harbor's wall to take towards A as QCK another first. Really got a nice trade off there, to be honest. He's gonna have his ult into the next round as well, I'm pretty sure, right? In terms of ten. Lisa got the kill out of that for Sentinels with the low buy that they have. Whole classics actually. Just utility. Yeah. Really the plan was trying to get tens with an orb. A death allows for him to get the kill. See, only one. For loud, it's a reset. Um, Using utility now to clear towards the A site. Dizzy thrown up, a swing through the Viper wall. Beautiful kill from Kawazin onto Zekin. And once again, nullifying this surprise attacks that Sentinels are trying to do. A little bit of pop shots and it's yeah. replied. Two E's gets the pick up to Zelsis. This is looking clean right now for loud's conversion off the thrifty that it just got on round number two. Clean cut. Clear. They take very, very sight. nice. Tens has his ult for this one. Um, Tui's has his ult. That's pretty much it for this. So, yeah, big rock, big buy round. We get the op out for Zekin. Loud, good chance to just take heavy control from Utility and weapons for sure. Right, right. Operator's going to be coming online here as we see Zach and spending a little bit more. Still quite a few away from the ultimate on orb. So this op hopefully coming into play for them. You can see once Loud figures it out, that might change their tune coming into this round. But they are going to go for this pressure quickly onto Long B here. Holy. Potentially get a surprise attack, but Here. just Man, saw this that is fast beat take. Mm -hmm. Fast beat take. Still haven't fully cleared yellow this. yet, so they need to be careful over towards yellow. And try to read Drone right goes in, that's going to clear yellow. Alan Drone gets denied. Not too much information, but at least a reckoning comes out to clear out the site. 
There's still players outside the perimeter though of this reckoning on and this side. Is, this is the absolute classic. They were keeping the similar similar thing they were doing in uh blocking. Just the wall to just cut up half of the site off and just instant push over towards Snowman. And that's gonna get spammed. Yeah. Around the corner. King's good, probably get spammed. There is that res, one flash that can be 20 right HP. to use for both of these defenders. Dizzy comes out, Tens gets ready to move forward. John, Q to get John is killing everyone. The Lovely flash from Tens. Surviving on the 20 HP. Becomes the last player standing. Also dropped by Zelsis. A the Louder going to be a little bit devastated that they didn't get a kill here. Reset. Got four armor rebuys. Launched everything at yellow. Yep. As we done saw from uh, John. Back there, double taking on which corner they wanted to peek at, and then trying to dodge. Here's a person that got the res as well, right? Them. Incredible hit. John Cutie finding two there was super big, making the rest of this yes. less pressured on the side of Sentinels as they retook. Also very nice to see as we talked about the stop and go that Loud is doing, that Sentinels could also do that on their retakes. Hey, the walls are blocking us, let's just res tense. Right. And then we'll use more utility on the second. The ground now for yeah, Loud, well especially with the econ. Good calls on the fly here from the IGLs. Who away from Alts? One away from John QT's or so keep an eye on John on defense over towards B though so this KO from Tens continues to nullify the utility that Kalazine's trying to bring. Allowing is nice. Zekin to be posted up and get the first bit hard to get through this now. They couldn't clear a site fully Ooh. of the opera. The cascade that'll, forward that'll just do it. waited out by second. And then they fire back. Kalazine able Did to they see the gun barrel this guy? Oh. That oh, is... Insane, bro. They were not expecting him to go aggro on this. <laughs> Smacked him in the head with the gecko mosh pit. That's so funny. Nice shots from uh from Les though. Relatively timid timing. He's not expecting him to go this close. In all these maps. And you almost see that there as Saucy's ready to throw one and be like, they're still coming in the way to they're in sight. <laughs> yeah, that's the timing Loud's trying to play right that's now. So good. Right in your face. Awesome stuff. Loud turning the heat up. Cowanzine now with the ultimate on the Hunter's Fury. We saw this being used a lot on Lotus right off the rip to deter something that the defense was doing or the offense okay, and now we go doing. we go back over towards the other side we'll see if it clears out two people that can't buy this though right under Ness, in terms John of second could definitely be a drop focus towards b less watching the rear here and sentinels are playing similar thing of taking over towards b i wonder if they try round. and if they do go towards b i wonder if they're going to try and put more people towards snowman once again might be the only thing that they change in terms of other rounds it seems as though we're trying to go for the quick John, pretty heavy committed on this one John might have a KO flash posted up or two of his teammates around the corner also watching flank under the tube Viper's pit up yeah KO flash goes in lovely so swing on top of that less. there's a swing on both ends Nano swarm to delay Sadak from pushing forward and trying to get this plant down underhand flash a swing out of have a good flash on this and if you can stop this plant I mean that'll do it doesn't stop the plant but they get the trade Les has his ult, probably not going to be wanting to use this, so does Cowan Zin, but it is like a 2v4. Zekin literally just has a classic now, used all his knives. Oh, okay, now he's feeling it, we're in for this. Tap of the spike, Molly comes out. People below, Wingman can tank the Molly. Bro, Wingman, Wingman is insane the against the mollies, though. Silly, you mentioned something Guys just really tanking awesome it the, the whole way that, through. That was the walls that we saw Wingman's now, ridiculous for it. Using to encroach farther into territory, get the snowman, push them off, are being used by sentinels to pick up their util and their members. Yep. Saucy is able to throw a free Dizzy, recollect Dizzy with the Harbor Cascade or Wall Up, whichever one was there. And then they re-hit the site again, using Loud's walls against them on this B retake. We'll have to see how that gets switched up, or if Loud can pressure forward to not allow those walls to be so efficient for Sentinels. Three ultimates here for Loud. We're back. I mean, he was due a compliment. It was, it was a good round from him. Sentinels ran away with the early rounds of the first few maps. Does not seem like Loud will let that happen here. A low buy on some members of Loud, but still those ultimates. Or what they want to execute same type of play here yeah. just trying to have a second give him an opportunity to get a 
And then now we actually get them uh, get them down to a low buy. The low buy is still really really good. We got some alts into this one as well. So could be de very tempted to use this one. John still has his alt, um, and this pivoted around a little bit in terms of sentinels. So they now have double info, and they actually have a full person stack over towards A. So kind of feeling that it's going to be A after shutting down B twice is the call on this one. And okay, big kill from John through the window on this one. They're going to just let him get over towards site. Who's going to get the plant on this one? That I can be able to get the plant. It's not going to give us any kind of ult. And then what are cool flashing early from ends here to clear anyone who's close towards greens? Look at the trades on this big 1v2. Tap on the spike. It's not really for him. No. So he has to lurk up, and that high tide is going to be annoying to deal remaining. with, but it was a tap. Tens gets the pick. The run across, and John Judy wins that fight. I would have thought he would get that kill all day. IGL coming up I thought he would have got that kill all day. Cutie, these situations that you Nine put to him four. In, you coming out on top quite a bit. John. And for a pressure to be on a new player, it does not seem like it affects him all that much. Grabs the operator. They're going to have that going against the next round as that's been traded back and Especially forth. Especially where his, um, here. I mean, it felt like he knew it was going to happen. We see this play right through window from spawn. John picking up the first one. And just having to dislodge the rest of Loud out of the site here. Oof, Crazy yeah. to be able to come in. Did the, did the crouch save him? Maybe. The members there. John Q. Well, at least went above him. Now ultimate's ready for him. Zelsis has the retake. So they can ensure this to be a next round. They get that retake going just right. We look at the side of Loud. They're going to call the timeout. Hunter's Fury is still there for Kalanzine. You have Bladestorm now coming up for QCK. What's the effect? Because we know the loud comp isn't using QCK as Ospos was used, right? It's more flexible. They yeah. can do what they want, but also if they want him to aggress, they can. How do they give him that space though with this composition? You don't, you're not really throwing flashes over a wall. You're not doing too much, you're not flashing anybody, to be honest. You're just breaking crosshairs. And technically for loud so far on their attack, they can't do whatever they want. Because right? again, they when can't. it comes down to an initiator battle between... Yeah, let's see a little bit. In terms of if you're loud, in terms of the rounds you've been so seeing, I think the easiest thing to be talking yeah, about if you're a coach is the fact that even get some pings they, the afterplants so are too much, so right? The, the afterplants with Gecko, especially over towards B, are too much. If we're going to be going over towards B and we're doing this wall, we've either got to take Snowman or they can talk about the fact that they can kind of wall off this and actually take back a site. Long story short, I think they need to take some more space. That is, that is pretty much where I'm at. They need to take some more space and then fight heavier over towards the right. The, the pressure of this comp, especially with Wingman, is just a little bit trying to get an upper a little bit too strong. Here just to start off the round on some high lows. Very big pick from Zach. He's back for stay. another insta. And he's got support there, Dizzy, to try to get more information. Instead, there's a second Ooh. jump. Clobber is coming through, so they know the pressure is coming in towards And he's loud. just fine so to use that wall to get out of there. Two players now pushing big pressure though with this wall that covers over towards well. yellow means that they create a good question mark and then we go back over towards a as we can see the over rotates come in they don't have any kind of hard free clear of info so this is nice from now they're kind of making sure that they actually are playing against the comp that sentinels have in terms of being able to re-clear the question marks that they created comp isn't that good about it you kind of have to wait for a knife to come up or you have to send wingman out and you can't get him back so this is, this is a very, like this whole round and this whole plan from Loud makes way more sense. Now on top of this, we want to see him take more space, fight a bit heavier and so. Yeah, it's going to be hard though with the kill joy Actually he's so out of position, Kawadzin, not going to be able to use it. So he's going to be in a one and done for QCK, gets a pick at least before he gets traded out by Zekin. He did good to get him. trying to use the Hunter's Fury for the Pulse plan instead. Zekin gets the pick up to QCK. Keep an eye on Wingman. Waiting for the Nanos. And then... Yeah, they're still going to wait though. Okay, now the ult goes in, now Wingman can defuse and now they can create chaos. Wingman goes in and he spammers. Yeah, insta spamming. Nicely done from Sadak. He goes down but he killed... Uh, Okay, he went. <laughs> Sadak did good. He goes down, but he killed the wingman. Hey, nicely done from Lance. Nicely, nicely done. And again, oh, what the? And again, the whole actual plan of this round made a lot of sense, right? Clearing the question marks over towards B. 
the comp on terms of sentinels they don't have like a solve or anything like that they can't hard re-clear especially when the knife's been used to these question marks and then they can just walk over towards a because obviously the rotates are so long that you kind of got to rotate on defense they're still able to get the util the viper's bite actually coming up huge to cause the vulnerable there and a uh, little handshake to end the round high five between those two four to four now these rounds are getting chaotic this is awesome and see how the players are just kind of regaining control of what's been happening in sight we start this one off again the focus from loud starts with this b hit they tempt it they cascade go with the drone and see what they can get out of a fight here because sentinels they've been given that peak tens will be there or second yeah. they're trying to get a first kill that type of round reminds me of Pearl all over again. Trying to play oh double controller gosh. of the Pulse Planet. Everybody's playing lineups and sprays. Yeah, and Louds just doing just this all the time. Yeah, they they want to try and, and create, and create question marks over towards B. Exactly. Start spraying. At least it's, in, it's been working for both teams. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you win some, yeah. sometimes you lose some. But it's a clean slate in round number nine. Four to four, our scoreline. Sadak trying to push forward. Off. Keep an eye on tens in this one. Doesn't have the best gun for it. Alone, underhand flash information. But Kalanzine, they were ready for that this time around. Yeah. Kalanzine and Les. Hyper all goes all in. It does cover the, the spike, so this is going to definitely get weird. Zelsus has to just down. take zero risks. Wow, loudest thing. So much farther risks. forward. Staying too yellow, still pushing out from long. Nice util kill. Zelsus is just dancing and dodging in there. Nice kill by Kalanzine. Who gets a third in the round? Hey, Kalanzine is farming on these rounds. Nice. The position is great. Yeah, we're just going to be saving on this one. Yeah, nicely done. I think so maybe 10s. I get what he, I get so what he's doing here, but I think but with when he had the worst gun and everyone else had better so guns than him, he probably loud, needed uh, having some sort of commanding lead. Yeah. Teamwork's on point for Loud here. Like we said, this, this composition doesn't just have one dashing in with free space being given by flashes and a bunch of utility. It requires Loud to be behind each other. It takes a lot more to get this composition to work that Loud is using. You got to remember that. Very easy for Sentinels to pick apart the gas. Those them. If they oh, okay, yeah, sorry. I was, I was highlighting the wrong He's plan. Out on an island. That's my bad. Everything bet. Loud does has to be in sync. And here, they collect a really nice round at B. They get the ultimate out of John Cutie as well, so they have to deal with less going into this round. Well, their own teammate, but... Yeah, I meant, I meant four, John on that one. Ten, <laughs> You're right. Or round 10, rather. Pretty good buy here for Loud to be looking at low okay. armor buy. We gotta for start looking at this, and with how armor kind of clean that round went for mid. Loud, exactly. their money's looking good for, for the rest of this. Oh, here's the flash coming, so ready for the peak. Pretty much a brief hour. This is fast reactions. So. He was just so ready that, that Dizzy actually gave him like a heads up that he was going to get peaked. Heavy, heavy pressure, forced to fall back in the back of the site. Mosh moving forward to the way, as Sassi gets to. Looks back at the top of the floor, 10 as 2 Almost got another as well, 16. The orb for a plant on the top of the A tower, coming out from loud. Null come in, available for 10s if they want to try to retake this one. But it comes down to if they can get these picks and they can Oh my, nice shots. Yeah, like, they're looking good now. They're looking good. Sentinels on this one gonna have to eco. One low buy. This is what we saw from Zekin in the previous map. So just raise all that. The raise all. Loud is collecting those alt. They're collecting Sen's head right Got now. A lot of and they as well. want this fourth map real bad. Three ultimates to be used. Is Saucy does that work? But it was the workaround. Still enough control over the site here for Loud to be able to, to control it. Okay. I don't know if it would go in. Where are we going? Towards A again. Reckoning held and ready. Late storm available. All goes in. Three people here. <laughs> Old's on top, just trying to secure as many rounds as possible. And yeah, they don't get to dodge this. Second gets back in. Have to go huge on that. Yeah, trade goes in. Timing of the flash. Not the one. The Sentinel side. But as they were doing a lot of noise for loud, they stayed back towards the site and just picked out Sentinels on the retake. Trying to be a little bit more proactive and aggressive against loud's take. Last with one. John Cutie here to try and clean up three. It's going to be tough. I love the choice. These final shots three person through. swing on top of this as well. Good news is as well, they keep the... Hey, uh, sorry, keep the killjoy all into this round. So they still have the killjoy. They still have backup knives, whatever gun they want to choose. Official assassin. They just focused on orb. 
to get exactly. that site. They don't have to deal with enough draft you for instance, don't. and they can just focus on cross our plays for these type of kills. <laughs> That's an easy one. Why are you all in the jet? I'm not gonna explain it. But no, great play there by Cowan Zine to actually take Zekin out of the mix. Really heady stuff there. Very happy. You see Loud still vibing. Even when they were down, they had the same smiles on, and they have to be feeling even better now. Ness has got so much money that he buys the attack off, and then he's got a backup gun next to him. We have a recon over towards B. We have a bit of Harbi still creating pressure, so they know that no one's playing close over towards B. If Sentinels will give them that peek at yellow just to get that first fight less carrying the opt in mid and finally sentinels are able to take control of the a side pressure so you see That's how Zelsis and zekin are currently posted watching zelt watching main so they know now that the hits coming towards the b side at least to start the early call from loud to take control of yellow as you mentioned here riv at the same time important to keep sassy alive because he has a thrash to work with there's oh my. a commitment now for loud for the first initial hit but they haven't really crossed the line to try and to they could the go back if they to wanted to I'm gonna stick this you just imagine it's all about the kill joy and Harvard, then what do we do do we go back official as much as Sentinels retake this wall is covering yes, mid and snowman entrance now straight across instead of diagonally cascade goes forward they should be able to great gain position get that default seconds. plant in and this is gonna They'll be no hard to uproot loud with five alive they no plan to try thrash and giving time for tens even to rotate across and oh choose the case still get the pick though on they'll no plan so we got, we got 15 one. seconds like on this towards the back of yellow i think that was going to be less here but an off shot missed here by yeah, and tens is just like well tens. we can stop Looking this plan we can win the round now pretty uh are pretty, pretty much together at least for the, with the jaws that came in. Yeah, and they, they didn't. They never panicked here. They never panicked. They didn't want to risk it too much. I think there's some mollies down over towards that spike that I missed. There's definitely a smoke there to stop them. But in a perfect correction to the way the wall was being used against them at B. They and it's starting to look like this that. map is a the work in progress, maybe, the for Sentinels. Again, it, it kind of looks like what I said at the beginning, fight. where well they felt like they had more chance on this map than uh, <laughs> than they did on the Sentinels. Let's see how their attack looks, though. time we get to see a look of Sentinels on Icebox, we'll throw it to the desk to see what they think about it. And for a first look, you got to say, not bad for Sentinels, but Loud still very much in this. They're trying to claw their way back into this series, but the pressure is certainly on here, Doug. Yeah, I mean, I think they, the truth is they've got to continue this momentum. They can't let Sentinels really get into a comfortable place, or they're going to be able to pull this thing off. We've seen Sentinels be able to fight through adversity. We've seen them pull off insane comebacks across different maps. Yeah. You cannot allow them an inch. They're the team who's gotten the closest to a reverse sweep and lost the most tragic way. You remember the lock in finals two rounds away? <laughs> from making it happen. But that's not what you have to remember. You have to remember that this is a squad that can always rally back. Sadak is the leader, is always someone who believes in that comeback being possible. They're good for it. But for Sentinels, they're going into this second half with a composition that I think is going to be stronger yeah. on attack. This is still going to be an uphill battle. Yeah, I think so. I think the one benefit is that every time you look at Sadak, he's laughing. Right? The vibes are still good. Yes. He's still cutting it up with his guys. Kind of so, have to, too. And I think that's the mark of a good leader, right? Like, that's yeah. something that often can go unnoticed and not really mentioned. But I think keeping that positive mental for your squad, uh, given some of the roster changes, given that you have younger players, matters a lot. But talking about mental, if there's someone who get it back for Sentinels, it would have to be Kaplan. He's become mm. a really a leader for this team, developed into that role as a coach. If they could do it in this fashion, a comeback on one of their opponent's strongest map on their debut. Four is okay? Yeah, four is okay, for sure. comp to 3-0 loud. The America's win, champions, one. it would be unbelievable for their first win in a regional finals in three years. This means everything for Sentinels, but Loud, they would be the team to rip it away. Yeah, a statement could be made here, but if we've learned one thing, you never count out the Brazilians. Let's send it back over to our casters. Thank you so much, GB.
Doug and Mimi indeed. We can never count out the Brazilians now as they take the lead. Oh, then should it be four. A the Harbor comes? Yeah, I, I like the Harbor. This time Sentinels trying I think if to I was in a team like on this map, I'd be running the Harbor. Probably, I would probably be running something very similar to this. EG, mm -hmm. How they're able to lock down this B side. And that's why Sentinels, for the beginning of this pistol, are looking to move. This thing it has. With, but the potential pulse you just have. Yeah, it does. You see the armor? This thing has so much that you can do. Alive with a bit of protection and that Molly maybe you could go a little bit crazy with a deadlock tries to do but. loud with great util dump into the side just got it and no plan on this one recon goes in now do they want to flood as they're scrambling to get the second plant down kind of they kind of do they, they actually did this really well they they split off half of this with the harbor util clear close and then now they can clear the site yeah this was good they just, just cut the site in half basically I decided in half managed to kill everyone on the on this side and then that was great. Especially the wall to block vision for them to get out and over towards here and just pinch this. That was smart. It's always on one HP, bro. That's always on one HP every time I look at him. There's stores, yeah, one one on this map. Um, or two all together. We've got to definitely mention that four two all together, one one on this map. Right and the pistols and wow, yet we buy into this round so we've got to pay a lot exactly of attention marshall and uh marshall and the ghost maybe right into this with aggression. maybe they got maybe they got a good this chance a in this not too sure they're expecting a buyout that seems to be the focus looks like sentinels couldn't punish it because of the cascade that came out yeah so they cut noise and said and looking for the snowball after the ko knife gets shot out Double flash clearing up the back of the site once again. Just trying to fade out utility. Wingman, though, looking for the set of the plant for the eight tower, so changing things around. Just parkour and across the eight site. Plant now comes down. Aljon only spots a second, but already loud has funneled back and pushed towards the back of the eight site. Sassy scores Fighting first, forward. long range with the stinger. Made for after plant, Molly for after plant. So it's okay in the after plant. You could maybe argue that with these guns, they probably should have been playing a little bit more aggro, but. Keep the weapons and the engagement close. And there goes the last kill joy, Molly. And we have Viper Molly coming in as well. And then it's a good plant for them at the top. Okay, nicely done. Yeah, just good plant on this one. So that's why they can play so far back. Very, very nice. Sentinels push through on the force by and completely take Loud off guard. No idea that was going to happen in sight, and it wasn't a flank. It's nothing else. Sentinels behind. What a great him. plant. Yeah. Great Took him five seconds to get up there. But great plant. With the stinger. Tens has been Not incredible wrong. with the stinger. Enemy remaining. And the positioning that they had as well on pipes was incredible to be able to pick up those kills that Tens had there towards the end of the round and shut down the defuse. Um, okay. Wow. And I mean, the, the risk pays they off. They go to a low buy. Everyone that Sentinels won a pistol lost the uh, next round on this one so far. Harbor Wall. On Sorry. Harbor Wall goes in. Hey, yeah, I'm a big fan of this Harbor Wall as well. I mean, you can create a lot of pressure over towards B. The they picked up the orb swing. as well. Loud taking every precaution on the defensive side now. Sadak knows what to do in these situations. They've been there before. They know different how they want to play this. Jiggly across, spraying through the top of the A tower. Flash just goes towards the back of side there. Hits no one so they know that it's clear. Oh, oh. Red. <laughs> Looks like the years were spotted there. By Sadak with the sheriff. ADSing down, baiting. The plan for them to move forward. I see them from Dulcis on top of this. Hey, did his, uh, did his turret? I mean, his turret must have seen. Any other kills on this? They would love to do a little bit more damage, to be honest. At least, a, some, at least an extra arm. Not in for it. Don't want to give him any more orbs. Die from the spike after. And those are looking pretty good so far. Getting that force by on that second round and winning the way that it did really foiled the plans now for Loud to have a very strong start yep. on the second half. I mean, I think they, they quickly identified as well with the, the cascade they're seeing. 
Tui's having alts that they might have been able to, to stinger rush the second one, catching loud off guard, catching them in a, in a position where they feel safe, to grab an orb, and then reset. Sentinels, they want to attack as fast as possible. And just from screens there, they're figuring out that they can take it down, so there needs to be a little bit more protection as they head towards that next area of the plant on Wingman now. I still yeah, like that, the, uh, I like that B poke guy. That you saw yeah, there from Tui's hiding all the way back towards spawn. Does yeah. some yeah. different stuff. Dying to spike, allowing them, him to be one um, away. Right, big buy run for Loud. Obviously, big buy run for Sentinels also, but Loud, if they lose this, another eco. Recon goes over towards middle, clears all the middle. Knife goes in, doesn't hit anyone, so they know that it's clear. Lombok goes in, so they know that they're kind of past this point. But Sentinels in round number 16 decide to do it. Ooh, you would say he's good for one, but... It's been a while since we've seen this little box shot. The back of Snowman you can hit on top of green. And now they're waiting. For QCK, it did look like that dash went across. And there's two people the yellow. And, and they cut sound. And they don't through. show anything. They're so now convinced they that they've gone all the way back. So yeah, this is why people cut sound right here Sentinels because prime example. Rotation, expecting an A hit, a free sight here, and it's going to be the call from Sadak that they need to come back. What a deep plan! Yeah, oh, they're like still going. They want to definitely try to yeah. start working and fighting towards the spawn. You see that setup. Oh, the sound was just so good. No one over peaked. No one over that. I mean, so no one really put a foot out of place. Trying to catch one early, sees that there's no early pressure coming out. Here's the Aldrin falls back in the sight instead. So an opportunity now for allowed <laughs> to rescale. And it's a similar thing with this plant as well, right? It's close to the wall here, here, so it should be easier though. to spam. One coming through, blocking vision on the left That's side the of the Three players posted up there for Sentinels on that post plan as well. So you hear the utility coming out for the re-temp take. Zelsis on the top of green. Look at all that delay for that utility. Yeah, very nice. On that post plan as well. Like we said, like their we money's low, so they decide to, to, to fight save for some guns into this. The for oh my Looking good gosh. from Sentinels. Like Maybe Loud would do their last time out here. Be tempted, it's getting relatively close. Maybe they need to kind of fight and create more pressure, like the, the harbor wall over towards B all the time. See here, this push through from Sentinels taking loud off guard. So strong in the post plant, yeah. Macro on that round, absolutely throwing loud and Sadak for a loop. That was good, though. We got the guy with the wingman talking about wingman's bad plants, and then we literally have him on the wall. Spawning to the left of the wall. Prime example. So guy's not wrong. I feel like the replay guy did that just for me. I'm not gonna lie. As well. as a change of pace, change of position from loud. Same wall, but from a different position. Yeah, I think this was a good, the good change up, right? They had to. I think this wall needs to happen all the time at the moment. From how I'm looking at it, needs to be some kind of pressure here. Watching an A side push, except for an alarm bot. Yeah. And I, I find that interesting too that it's an alarm button instead of a turret because somebody could now move up on the top of L. So for me, maybe Sentinels are really looking to commit towards this B side. Exactly. Maybe the pace they move, they feel comfortable yeah, just going official on the, the back won't be timed. And yeah, they're going to get into position really fast here. A stinger, a guardian. But um, the operator's there for QC. Yeah, and he's just not expecting not this expect angle. It looks mad for us, but we kind of look at this. This is the only position that he can go from, and this is the only person that can be there. So not the worst play from him. It's just not expecting the guy in yellow. It's as simple as that. Recon dart prepped up ready, but it's shock darts instead. Same plant position behind the, the thing. wall. There's no utility there to deny uh -oh. him. As I say that the shock darts came through. Oh, uh. A good way to recognize from last round to this round that Loud can stop that plant. That's the call from Sadak saying they planted deep. Left. The team saw it too. We can deny that the next time they do it. Yeah, and they wait for the wall to go up. I'll catch him off twice. And, and we get this plan off. There is a guy top site. How is this? Gets a kill on middle, under tube, then goes instantly in tube, and he's creating so much pressure here. Is he... From the operator, here's the footsteps of Kelsey. Oh man, he might have won this round. So the rest we of think he's won this round. Oh my god. A nice spam through the poison orb. QCK falls. Now a tap on that spike, baiting out the swings <laughs> yeah. from the sentinels. When does Zelsus get involved? Nicely done from Zelsus. Big luck. Real big luck. And he's in the bin on this. 
Do nine loss bonus. One, two, three that can't buy. Talking to Smix at halftime about how it's John Cutie and Zelsis. And you have to think that there was a lot of Zelsis going in to that round. The timing, the calls, how much time they needed to defend in sight or play back in sight for him to get there in the flank controls the map. We see Zelsus come up with two big ones there towards the end. Nine to eight now. Sentinels only trailing by one with the last four it's rounds getting, in their getting, favor. Get out of getting scary for them. Push down here. Loud wants to start to get aggressive. Even on their low buy, they have to get under the skin some, of Sentinels some here. flashbacks maybe. Default, it seems. It was about this time last year as well. Still in range where it could oh, like a month later. Just wants to deny visibility. For Sentinels by breaking a turret early, so Sentinels pushing towards the A side instead. Should be a wingman plan here. Trade back and forth. Nice shot by QCK. Dash activated as well. Stinger upgrade back into the sheriff. Snake bite pushing away. Reckoning instantly getting popped. Asasi gets the plant from the wingman assist. Good plant towards the top. They do and have the cove though. We've got to keep an eye on this one. Pick. Especially when we're getting the kills. Molly goes in towards the top of the site. Cove goes out. Dude, the shots. Did he break the cove? No. Yeah, he's done. That's a defuse right there. That is a defuse right there. Nicely done. Dude, Les has hit some absolute shots. In the second round of the half. The Cove really putting a damper there on Sentinels trying to get to the spike. Saucy throws out a mosh, just boink right off. And that's nice. crazy that he's able to get and break the turret down towards bottom mid and still come back <laughs> to get an opener on holding the A site. <laughs> Loud making the perfect little corrections here to pull it back in their favor but this is still a lot of money for sentinels as they come out of a timeout and kaplan uses these to great effect it's going to be loud as well in that timeout discussing how this can work and honestly loud has actually been doing quite a bit of damage with the low buys they came through the other round with a stinger guardian still tagging on to sentinels so as much as sentinels have the timeout here loud gets to discuss what they want to and QCK back on that off. Seems like it's felt pretty good for him. They had Reckoning to control that last round. So it is going to be up to a little bit more of that personal utility here to make sure Sentinels is not attacking aggressively. They are going to clear space with Thrash in this coming round. And then they're going to have the site with a lockdown if they don't have that to hold. for. Or if they, I mean, if, uh, sure. They Just one it, person. They can have it for the next but round. most likely, so you would expect Knives. Right now. They can get an Orb and Knives. We'll see. Less. Fish or... He's got money. Yeah, he's I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> the Viper like, no bear. way you just have a sheriff right now. We just talked about this. There. Yeah, you'd mentioned clearing out. I mean, that's the pathing that they usually do here with the smash. They could right clear there. around the 410. Yeah. Pick it back up and ult just behind 410 to really gain even more space, allowing time for them to set up for a full plan. So that's why you see Zelsis moving up with the team. John Cutie's the one watching the flank to start. The knife to see if Loud's gonna try to push forward with QCK on the and this is, uh, up towards B instead. This is a bit of a classic. Dasha were the first one to do this ult here. So cycling the Pretty much just when they get close, you can ult, and then it goes all the way off. over towards site and they can't plant. Less is just trying to get that timing. I mean, why not? Uh, I mean you can get a little bit better than this. You don't have a lineup for it, but Similar thing that he can keep this up and they can just control the right side of site. Yeah, they tried to get the plant on this one and that might have. This might have all gone wrong. We'll see. The spam is good. Do they decide to relax a little bit and take some map control? The thing is, the spike is down, so it gets a little bit weird, but kind of need to get a little bit of map control, you would think, as it all goes in. And they hit. No, they don't hit the stun. What a manic round. Keep an eye on Zelsus lurking here. There is a turret that's going to spot him. Zelsus is lurking towards middle. That op was always towards that B side. And if they'll use the right utility to try yeah, to turret does here. spot him. They managed to pick up the spike. Jet's still lurking on site. And what the hell is this round? Jet of a... So I mean, good luck of observer, Loud. man. This good luck observer. There is so much going on. That's well done here on the positioning from Loud. Because of that op being posted up on the B side, they could focus on the kitchen, on the rotate down at the underpass. Even the op gets to pick off the oh, time. All them falling down, five seconds left. <laughs> no, we're Actually, everywhere, bro. Remember, he has a plant. 
So two versus two, the Damn, dude, the shorty betrayed him. But less now in a clutch situation. Information of our tens is that the high low tens doesn't even win it out. What a mad, mad rounds. Managed to get the spike, went all the way back, split over towards B. Zolsus had made pressure over towards bottom of B. He had one pass on top of A, ready to kill the Viper once he's going out of the ult. Like everything was manic here. With the shot, it gets denied. The just out of range with the shorty as well. Sentinels, they're kind of just going for it yeah. in these moments. You know, and you have no other I think they could have. But to make it happen, the position. No, no, for sure not. They got like three two. Did not that shorty kill was it right? That that pretty much solidifies it for the rest to come around and figure out what they need. To Forty nine HP after the shorty shot. So he, he needed to aim down more. Over the high tide, and then a dizzy towards the front, an aggressive push forward. A Zekin almost got that punish onto two E's, but there is a blades from out. The headshot of the saucy. The spike is down low. Command denies also his uh -oh. eyes. Poor guy. Wait. For the two okay. Kills. Open it up the B side for a bit. There's still one player left. Nice. The doc with the vandal pushing for it. Gets the kill to Zekin. <laughs> nice trade. Oh no, don't give him a gun. Whoa, sleeping. Oh my. Yeah, mini map checking. And he has a gun now. Double molly. And this is his smoke. Okay, nice. He handed from John. Was just a low buy, but still got a little bit scary. Both teams have one pause each if they want to use it, I'm pretty sure. That's Kings what I saw earlier. Right will they be able to make it happen? QCK on this yellow has been doing so much work. And then Sentinels are snapping back quick. They're figuring out what the dangers are in these situations and acting accordingly. Zekin, Jersey's finest coming up again, laying people down. And yeah, we are at 10 10. A big difference is Sentinels have two maps under their belt here. Looking to finalize. Killjoy on defense. Up over towards B. And the up keeps him playing far, far back. Pretty sure he's just waiting for the gecko um, flash. And then moving into position. Might be something else that I'm missing. That's right, a job's not done here for Sentinels for Loud. They're still looking pretty good. Lots of money. An operator out once again for QCK towards B main to jump spot from Zek. Yep. But they also have ult to work with for the This was nice. Just that one so smoke after doing the jump spot creates the pressure that they could have got out here. So they do have literally that one jump spot and the smoke. Just great. Big question mark over towards B. I think that was a miss. Zelz just walks up like that. The swing Huge pick. Does get the surprise kill huge, the huge pick. With the it, do we kill Joy or this Dizzy early, or the year. Flash do we save it for the retake? Kill Joy early, even and though the plant goes down. down. Zekin 36 HP goes down. Nade is just off. So that rotates the players back. Zels is again trying to go for that lurk. But it gets stopped by QCK with the operator. It's a reset with only 24 seconds left. Sentinels have no choice but to commit towards the A site, but they still have a pit to work with. They have to get in. They don't have wingman to plant here. It's going to take everybody being in sight to cover this. Tens again taking that nest position. John Cutie, though, not looking to use his pit. There you go. Viper oh, as well. Towards Viper the towards yeah. the left side. side Knife the hits one. Knife thrown towards the screen. Spotting three. High tight. Separating the A site. Got an op for retake. They still have a cove. The they have remaining. They have a cove to work with. I mean, John still has a molly as well. Sassy still Tweez has a molly. Not the best plan. Are you actually kidding me? Give chances for Holy. allowing the fight back this round 21. Tens pushing forward within that pit. Still working on the other side. Oh my god. Oh, possible. Sassy gets the... <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, Tens, bro. Tens managed to get the best timing all the way through. Dude, what the hell is going on? Give me, give me this. I'm, give me a, what the hell is going on, man? These rounds from the get go. QCK, even with the off push, not deterring Sentinels, they stay, they re hit. Tens, being Tens, absolutely on fire for these series coming in from knockout.
can't escape the internet. And all of it. No matter where I am. That's crazy as well, looking at they just follow me, round. country they to country. The perfect play, the lockdown to actually funnel players into the op. And instead of really trying to gain ground off the radius that they've gotten and the space that they could have had from the lockdown and pin Sentinels really yeah. inside the A site, they played for the retake instead. And the Sentinels fans are behind the team for sure here. As again, only needing two rounds to actually sweep loud in this grand finals of kickoff. And coming out of this, it is again a low buy for loud. We've seen Stinger guard yeah, low buy. They, you would imagine. So that's a 12. With how much Three Stingers, two Sheriffs. Just to get through these rounds on Sentinels, but still not coming away with the win. And Sen picking up three more in a row for themselves it only goes back to loud for one sentinels correct whatever happens and they hit even harder the next time it's it just seems unstoppable from them picking right the now. right side the rounds away from solidifying this and 20 yeah he's been getting a lot of knives off back a for loud they're not going to play too much they'll put Ooh, i like the place. we know that sheriff I like the extra addition of this one but sentinels I like the extra addition of this. I mean, we can see some of the time they've been putting in. That was cool. Smoke up towards here, flash on top, just in case we are just heavy dueling towards this. Kill joke goes in. Nice kill joke. They're going to be able to get a plant down. Tova decides to go for a hero play. Smoke. Okay. Sides against it. Dude, is he going to get caught now because of this? Of course. Pushing away. Wow. Plant goes in, they decide to go aggro at the back against the Stingers. You guys are crazy. You want to give him some guns? Hey, nicely done from Loud. I'm not too sure about the plan from Sentinels here. Not too sure I enjoyed that one. We, uh, yeah, I think we kind of... I think we kind of rushed that one a little bit. Like they didn't want to have a luck because they were on eco, but then they decided to like push forward with with non enough numbers against an eco. So it's like, <laughs> what what are we what are we doing there? Almost being suffocated out of the game if they weren't able to take that round on the low buy. So yeah, the low buy comes up with a win for Loud. They get a little more momentum. Reckoning is here to deny a take and operator in the hands of QCK again. They have a bit of extremity control here. This is the first time we see two. He's no, okay. He just goes up for the wall. I thought he was moving forward. And loud and the loud fans continue to show that they're still here to fight. Zelsis using a different path and going through the high tide, using his orb to try to lurk inside the kitchen. Sentinels four players set up. Slowly moving up here. Towards the A site. I mean, but Harbor, one away from Fischl. Pretty much where we're at. So maybe or Wait, does he expect him to window her? From getting a thrash yeah. out for Sassi and Bladestorm and Zelsis. Zelsis. Trying to count on that one. Could it's a lot of pressure they put up the smoke the to create the idea kind of that he might have left. As we can see, he actually does move, leave. Giving info. A was waiting for Zelsis to cause the disruption. Sarah taking the jewel of middle. Say he left. On this one. He is Sentinels really wanting to take the 1v1. Four people on site and they have Harbor all. The and they got a Killjoy set up. And did he get one tap? Now they go over towards the arm. You know, they go through middle, so maybe. Oh, wait, well. The people going over towards middle got absolutely melted. And now Loud have one chance to win it. Did that one eco round. A one mistake. And it kind of cost them pretty heavy at the moment. One chance to close it out. It is over towards Bind. Let's go to five. Sentinels calling the time out here so Kaplan can get in the ear of the players. If I have any clue about the Madrid format, um, Swiss, eight team Swiss with uh, double LM for the top four. They're pretty good, to be honest. Uh, coach is nightmare, but pretty good. 
A lot more of uh, seeing Loud not be pressured. The way we usually see them on top of the play, in front of everything, and making the right choices. Sentinels has been able to make them error out quite a bit today. It looks like Loud, though, could get us to a fourth. And this is the last timeout now for Sentinels, at least. Of course, it's the last round of regulation as well. Why not burn it now? I'm trying to figure out yeah. how you want to close this out. He doesn't want any tweets. <laughs> he didn't time out. Well, I'm going to time out. Yeah, this is that last one. Thrash, seconds ultimate here. 10 just off of one as Wish, well. If they can get a long B orb, that's an easy grab to make sure you're not going to really deal with an alt on either side, but be shutting down that re entry utility uh, retake from Loud. What do we got? Anything, man? I mean, players. we got, the they, they have some options. Maybe this next play. I think Definitely Sentinels doable for Sentinels. Got fish one away from KO ult as well. At whatever site he's at, depending on the strat or depending on what they do. On defense, we have nothing. Sadak. He's the bad gun. Okay, there we go. Up. So they have to Ops worry. over they towards have to B. To Stabs over towards B this time as well. No wall though. That's a big question for them. They have the setup though. We've seen the dizzy in the flash. Yeah, he hasn't played here yet. To get the flash towards green. Pop. But QCK has the angle. Flash not does not affect him. Just wait yeah, and this fish can't get him up here, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, he dashed before. Almost felt like yeah, I was on him. Yeah. It was on him, he just, just moved. Away from the flick. But Tens picks up the ult orb and also has the ult command in the ready. Trying to delay even more, a high tide comes out all the way back. And that fish is, uh, That's this is not ideal. Slowing down any type of push. That is not and ideal Sentinel's to be to picked towards up. Green after really. That ult, anticipating a ult command hit. It cuts sound. They create a bit of pressure, like they could be going back. We look over towards Azelsis. Maybe gonna make a little bit of, of space. Only one person to shoot this, but it's like Gecko, and you know a lot of the time that Gecko kind of is with the group. I'm not sure that was. To be honest, all three of them are me with that. Go group. That goes over towards Yellow. Ends with his all after picking up the orb. Goes over towards here with wall up. Does Wingman go for the plant? Yes, he does. Here we go. And so the top sites. Stop Wingman. Yes, he can. Insta. Wingman dead. So that kills everyone at middle. 2v5. Okay, nicely done from Sadak. Yeah, and that one that one mistake against the eco cost him this one. And we'll see how much it cost him as we go over towards Bind next. Still a... Still a Still a, I mean, that's a work in progress for sure for Sentinels, but I think that's still a good sign in terms of how they look. Nicely done from uh, Loud. Well, their attack was really strong.